Hi guys. Um, today I'm going to, well, not just today, this is going to take a bit of time <laughs> or a few days. Um, I'm, I'm going to be doing something, um, I suppose you could call it like a thrift haul, but I didn't get it from a thrift store. Um, I got it from another thrift haul, sorry, a thrift flip. Um, but I didn't get it from a thrift store. I got it, um, from my stepdad when my stepdad passed away. Um, he was a bit of a hoarder. So there was a lot of stuff that he had just everywhere. Um, he had lots of places where he was keeping things and that. And then we, we just found lots of things. And this was one of it. It's, um, we found two bowling balls. And um, there's, the, there's two of them. The one's got his name on it and the other one doesn't. So <clears throat> we haven't been able to get it sold. Because they're also quite old. They, they're not shiny anymore. And they're like sort of, um, yeah, they're not shiny anymore. So what I'm going to do is I went onto Pinterest, <laughs> my favorite place. <laughs> and I went looking for any... Um, anything that you could use to or any way that you can like repurpose the bowling ball I found a lot of different options so I sat with my husband and I saw which one he liked because you know it's gonna go in the garden and he he did, mostly does the garden I help with decorating sometimes but mostly it's him doing the garden so I asked him which one he thought was the nicest and he chose so this one is the one that he chose. It's very pretty. Um, but it's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> so, um, I'm using the, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to do both. I'm going to see how it goes with the one, but I'm going to start with the one with my stepdad's name on it, um, which is Arthur. Um, just for sentimental purposes, because then I know it's, with me and it's in the garden and it's yeah by me you know I'm a sentimental person <laughs> so um yeah I'm gonna start with that one and see how it goes now I've never done a rounded you know mosaic like a rounded thing before not that I can remember um so I've heard that you can use stuff called mosaic fix as the glue but also as the grout so that's that's what I'm gonna try <laughs> and I'm gonna hope that it works and I don't know how fast I'm gonna have to work before the stuff starts drying because I've never used it before so we'll see how it goes um, for the top parts of that picture I bought um, like molds which I'll show you now now um, and we'll we'll see if that works as well um yeah so it's a it's a diy diy thrift flip you know home decor type thing <laughs> so i hope you enjoy it i love being creative and trying new things in my journey through life writing best practices tips and tricks sharing updates on my own writing and books with different tutorials sprinkled in between I enjoy sharing my knowledge. There's music covers and original pieces written and composed by me. Handmade jewelry reveals, sewing videos, other crafts, poetry reading, book reviews, and many, many more. Come and join me on this journey and let's have fun together. I want to show you is his ball, um, the bowling ball. It is very heavy. It's a lot heavier than the other one that I have. So as you can see, it's got his name on it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I like to bowl, but I'm not such a bowler that I'd have my own ball. But this thing is very heavy. Um, oh. uh, so that's the ball, even in its own bag, and he's got like powder to put on his hands and 
so he was really a he was a bowler and then let me just sit down <laughs> then the other thing that um i've got is the um molds so i'm going to i got these plastic molds from crazy plastics so i'm going to be using this one for the part that's on top of the ball um, it's like the closest I could find and then the part on top of that part I'm going to be using this and to make those two I got this plaster of Paris powder which I got from crazy plastics the crazy plastics no it was Westpac sorry but crazy plastics also sells it so I got this and then I've got this mosaic fix, which is what they say you can use to fix it to the um, to the ball. And it is in super white color. So with the with the mosaic fix, what I'll be doing is what I usually do when I grout is I make a little bit at a time. Um, because it's better to make too little than too much and then I'll probably like put it on the only thing that I'm struggling with is where do I put the ball on so I'm still trying to work that out these are the tiles that I've got so I've got the big ones like this and then I've also got the the little ones which I think is a beautiful color um, now, a lot of these stuff I still have left over from when I had a craft shop in Bredarsdorf in the Cape. Um, I've got these white ones, which is the ceramic, the ceramic white. And um, then I've also got, oops, see Daisy. Then I've also got these white ones, not much of it though, which is the glass white. I want to try and not buy to, like any more tiles because I have already bought a few which I shouldn't have <laughs> because I do have tiles but you know yeah. <laughs> so then I've got these gold ones and I've also got these silver ones so you know they're in like all over the place then I've got this green which is the glass one and then I've got this like jade green color and I took out these as well just in case so it's like a blue but it's a small ceramic And then these are the ones I bought, <laughs> uh, you know, because I went to a market and I couldn't resist. So this one, I bought them from a company called Splish Splosh Crafts Mosaics. That's a new place they starting out. So I got that one and that one and this one. And this one very pretty colors so I have a lot of other colors of mosaics I just you know because I could I've even got these ones which are yeah in the hole they're just randomly um, like these glitter tiles and I've also got obviously mirrors mirror tiles and you know I've got the green the green large grit glitter ones but I don't know, I'll see how it goes because like the picture, I'm not going to be, because you see in the picture there's a flower that they put on the ball. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do my own thing and I'll see how I'm going to do it because what I'm going to have to do first is I don't want to just decide as I'm, like as the grout is on and now I have to come up with something because you can't move it again after you've put it on. So what I'm going to do first, I think, is I'm going to put it onto a 
um, a, a tray and then work out how I want to put the design and even if it's just like the just the first little bit just work out the first little bit of the design and then know that I'm going to do that right around the ball then at least I know what I'm doing um, and I don't sit and think while this stuff is busy drying on the ball the one thing I'm not too sure of I'm going to have to use all the small small ones um, tiles is for that those two top pieces and then also as it gets to the top um, I have to see how I'm going to do that as well so this is going to be a learning curve for me as well and you can come along and see how it goes um, if it comes out the way that I want it to come out because you know as is DIYers and creative people we sometimes take things on even though we are like I'm uh, not so sure this is going to work out well, but let's just do it anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>
So, this is, as you can see over here, there's lots of spaces in between that didn't fill up. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to use crack filler to fill it when it's dry. And I've taken it out. Um, it dries actually very quickly. Uh, so I would say next time I would rather use cement um, to make it instead of um, plaster of Paris. Okay, so now I need to do the ceramic the mosaic fix, which is what I'm going to use to stick the tiles on. So this is the same concept. Um, I do a little bit as a, at a time so that I don't have too much left over or any left over if possible. Just an update on this stuff and I don't know if it's normal but it's actually getting so hot. You can even see it's like sweating and it feels so hot even that one. I don't know if that's normal. We'll see. <laughs> it's just like not plastic. Okay. the mosaic fix that I'm using. It's used for adhesive and grout. So I've put that much in and now I need to mix it. I'm going to put the holes at the bottom. And like I said previously, I took this out of the bowling bag and my husband just tacked it from me again because it had come loose. And this is where I'm going to put it outside with. So I'm going to do the top part of the ball first and then I'll get to the bottom part. The only thing is, I um, don't need to do the whole top part, but now I'm scared that I'm just thinking that I can't put, because that thing is going to come on top here with the other thing, but I'm not sure where it's going to come. It's about that big, but now it's also not going to lie flat. And obviously I need there to be things under it. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so I've done the first one, the first part. It doesn't look so clean at the moment because the grout or mosaic fix is sitting messily. Sorry for the darkness. So I'll continue when it's dry. And, um, well, when it's dry, I'm first going to grout the top part and then let that dry and then I'll turn it over and do the bottom part that's there at the bottom <laughs> um, and then grout that and and then we can do the top piece I need to grout this top layer this is going to take me a while, I worked out, because I have to now grab the top layer, then it has to wait 24 hours. Then I need to do the bottom, um, and glue the bottom um, uh, tiles on, 
and wear it 24 hours and then I have to grout it, wear it 24 hours and then I can do this top piece. So <laughs> it's going to take me a bit of time. So I've already mixed the grout, which is the same as this one. And now I'm just going to put it on. Um, I use my hands quite often because I just find it easier. I've already put some water in a bowl and I've taken out a sponge, a uh, sponge that I usually use. If it's still got a white tinge over it, hey, that's fine because you don't want to clean it too perfectly because then you're going to start taking the graft out again. This is also where you'll see if you've missed any spots. So I think that's all right. Um, I don't see any other open spots. So now I can just leave it to dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use the leftover of the grout to fix this thing because if you look on the side here, you'll see that the plaster of Paris didn't go in properly. So I'm going to try and fix it if I can get it out of here. That was very satisfying. <laughs> okay, now this one's nice. When I sand it down, I'll just sand down these pieces over here. But otherwise, I'll also have to make it straight. This one came out nice. Okay. Alright, so that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, just one thing. Um, if you've got any leftover grout, which I hate having leftover grout, but it does happen sometimes. So if you do have any leftover grout, don't try and clean it out while it's still wet because that is very difficult. Um, rather just wait for it to dry and then it breaks out of the holder. So it just like crumbles and then you can throw it away. Otherwise you're going to have to try and clean it out and throw it somewhere and it's wet. It's just better to wait for it to dry. So just a little, a little tip from a person that does a lot of mosaicing. <laughs> so. um, what we're going to do now, it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this clean and then I'm going to mark where this um, metal ring is because I realized I won't be able to put the tiles where the ring is because then it won't fit there and it might break the tiles. Um, so I'm going to leave that little section open where the ring sits. Um, also, I have my daughter here to help me hold it because I don't want to turn this over in the ring to do the bottom part because it might just break the tiles here on top. So she's going to hold the ball for me while I put the fixer on and the tiles on. Which reminds me, I need to bring those closer. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, and then that will be it for today. Just we have to clean, we have to put the fixer on, put the tiles on, and then I'm not sure how I'm going to get it to stand without someone holding it while it dries. I'll figure that out later. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I decided I, I need to fill these holes with something so I'm going to use paper just so that the um, stuff doesn't fall in there. So.
Okay, so we're done, or I'm done with the top layer, and or with the bottom layer, should I say, gluing it down. Now I have to wait 24 hours for it to dry, and then tomorrow I can grout it, and then I have to wait for that to dry. But I think that what I'll do is I might start with the other piece, it just depends on what I have planned for tomorrow. We will see. So, see you tomorrow. I'm not too sure what happened over here, but um, I don't. I think I pushed the wrong button and it was not zoomed out. Um, the camera was not zoomed out, so you can't see what I'm actually doing. So I'm going to have to skip this part. But basically, all that I'm doing is I'm doing the same as what I did with the other side. I'm just grouting the top and then rinsing off any of the um, the excess, and then I have to leave it to dry um, overnight. So that's basically the same as the other, the bottom part. Okay, so I'm also going to be sanding this down today and putting the tiles on. And uh, just so you know, I'm going to be using my Dremel. If you do this, you need to wear protective glasses and a mask because there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes off it. I'll also be using my cutter just to cut the top off. I'm going to be doing something else there, I'll show you. So um, I still have the grout left over from just now um, when I grouted the bottom of the ball. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use the tiles, the little small tiles. And um, I've got my cutters in case I need them. And then this is what I was trying to, I wanted to tell you just now. Instead of the pointy part, like the picture, I want to put this at the top. So see how it goes. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean this off um, and then we're going to do the other pieces that I did the other day. So let's clean this off. Um, I will see, I need to um, buff it as well. So we'll see how it goes. So usually I would wait until I've finished everything before I buff it out. But this is going to go at the bottom and those things are going to go on top. So I won't get a chance to buff the bottom out. So I'm going to just try and do it a little bit now. When I tried to put this um, ball onto the stand, um, I noticed that the problem is it's not fitting. Um, probably because... Um, of the tiles on top. So now as you can see I'm trying to figure out if I can fit small tiles into the groove that I left there. This also means that this project is going to take longer than what I thought it was going to take. And once again, I forgot to look where the camera is pointed at. So um, I have not got all of this parts in it, but it's okay. I'm just going to show you a few of them. Um, in this part, I basically just grout, um, I glue the, the tiles onto that piece that has to go on top. And then I have to wait for it to dry um, in 24 hours. Over here, I'm going to be gr um, grouting the little cone on top. Um, because that one has now dried and now I just need to add the grout onto it.
grouting is now dry so I can clean it off and then buff it out before I move on to the next step in the process. The grout from the cone is now dry so I'm going to rinse it off or the excess off and then buff that out before I move on to the next step. The fixer is now dry and the tiles are had adhered to the piece at the top and now I'm going to grout it. I'm done grouting it and now I'm going to rinse off the excess grout before I have to let it dry for 24 hours. As editing on Dean I'm having a good laugh at this because it's as if I'm psychic and I know what I'm trying to say. Um, but my husband was sleeping on the couch so I didn't want to talk. But <laughs> it's as if I thought I'd know what I'm saying. But anyway, I'm guessing that what I'm saying is I'm going to be attaching the cone to that bottom piece so so long so that um, that takes out that part of the steps. I thought I'd share this part for comical re relief because <laughs> once again I'm thinking that I'm psychic because I'm having this whole conversation in my head and I have no idea what I was actually trying to say but yes the stuff is now attached and we have to wait for it to dry. <laughs> So today, so let's see if this is, yeah, it's stuck there. I don't want to pull on it too much. So I need to wash this off, like rinse it off. But what I did look at was, I hope you can see this in the camera, is that this is, when I put it on yesterday, it was standing too funny, you know, and not nicely. So what I want to do is I want to take a pencil and I just want to make a marking where it needs to come out and then I'm going to use my tools to like carve out a, a rounded section and then I will put the stuff on to glue it down. This is probably going to be quite messy. Okay, so I've now made like a dent in there and now I'm going to use the same stuff to glue this on top. And then we'll have to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to make sure everything's clean and um, shined up again and then we will place it. It is finally finished. So that is the um, ball, the, the bowling ball repurpose thrift flip finished. Um, yo, it was <laughs> it was quite a lot of work. It took quite long because um, you know each step that had to dry over 24 hours. But I'm happy with the outcome. If I had to do this again, because I do have another ball, I just don't know if I want to do it again. But um, if I had to do it again, I would make that top piece a lot smaller. So that it fits smaller onto the ball and not stand out. I feel like it looks like a little bit like a clown hat on top of this ball. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I would make that top little piece um, like a little bit smaller, you know, like smaller so that it fits nicely onto the top with the cone on top of it i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did if you can please give it a thumbs up um, and if you haven't subscribed already if you can please do so and click the little subscription block below it shows support the <laughs> it shows support for my channel which i really do appreciate and also it's going to help me get to my goal 
my first goal, which is a thousand subscribers this year. Um, or more, I don't mind more. <laughs> but yes, you'll be helping me to reach that goal. And if you click the little um, bell notification, then you'll also be informed every time I upload a video so that you don't miss any. And if you look in the description block below, you will also find all of my social media, including my blog, which is where you'll find more content from me. And if you go to www.patreon.com forward slash on Dean Lorenz, it's also where you'll find more content from me. And it's also the best place for you to support what I do on this channel and then also what I do on the blog. Um, if you want to support me another way because you don't want to become a patron, my email is also in the description block below. And um, you can just mail me for an alternative option. <laughs> um, yes, because I don't get paid currently by, you know, currently, I don't get paid by either the my YouTube channel or my blog. And obviously I would like to be able to continue doing it because, um, you know, it's fun. <laughs> and I feel like I'm sharing things with you guys that you can enjoy as well and that you can maybe learn from any mistakes that I make during a craft, um, which is the best way to do it, I think. So I hope that you have a lovely day further. Keep your crystal on, your sparkle strong, and enjoy your moments. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.